What's up everybody? We'll keep us down there where there's the lifeguard's house. It looks amazing. Gotta go, gotta go, it's on. Oh my god, this is Hokipa's adrenaline. This is Hokipa on fire. What's up everybody? How you doing? How you doing? I'm here in Maui, as you might have seen in my last video. Um, right now I'm just getting ready for the Hokipa, hopefully, session today. This morning I had a really nice yoga session as part of my program training that I'm doing uh, on distance with my Chilean trainers. I had a, so two mornings, three mornings a week, I go to a gym, two mornings I have some recovery sessions with yoga, besides all the windsurfing. So I had that, I had a breakfast, and I edited a little bit, and now, again, I'm getting ready for, for today's session. It's kind of cloudy. It has been tricky, the weather here in Maui, in the last week, a lot of rain. Um, yesterday was the first uh, really good sunny and windy and wavy day. We had we had pretty pretty big conditions at Rukipa. Actually, yesterday was uh, was the first time with uh, real Hokipa. You know, almost like winter style, which you know for being May, it's pretty rare. We got big waves, big waves. Like average was three three meters, three four meters, and uh, the big sets were like mass and a half, like five, six meters. So it was massive and uh, really, really, really windy. I was on a 4.4, which is the smallest sail that I have right now because I had to receive new sails in Chile. But as you know, you know, the whole worldwide situation with shipments and products, it's, it's pretty tricky right now. So we had some delays and some issues and I couldn't get those sails, so whatever. Yesterday was on my 4.4 and I was completely overpowered. First time sailing Hokipa that big, especially after my knee injury. And uh, yeah, you know, when they ask me why Hokipa is so special, that's that's why, you know, it's just a place of its own. It's uh, There's so much experience needed, so much time in the water needed to, to be able to sail conditions as yesterday, you know. Uh, strong wind, big waves, northwest swell direction, which means that the wave is really fast. It, it almost closes all together. You really need to know it perfectly. And besides all this, there were some huge chops on the waves. So really, really tricky, really tricky. Today is uh, the second day of the swell. It should be um, getting a little smaller. And I'm pretty excited after yesterday because I had that first session at Okipa, which was really challenging, but. A lot of experience you know and then in the afternoon I actually decided to go to Kanaha to put in the hours you know and get some confidence and that's exactly what happened I had an hour and a half fantastic time in Kanaha uh, glassy last hour was glassy side off two three meter waves not too big but uh, a lot of uh, a lot of waves and really good for my mind you know to to get that confidence again and and put those turns again so hopefully today I'm gonna try to do that but at Okipa <laughs> All right, so here we are. We made it to Okipa. I'm just gonna show you, give you an idea of what it looks like. So this place, this first part is for surfing. Up here is called Pavilions. And then our spot, Okipa, is down there where there's the lifeguard's house. And that's where we ride. You can see already a guy in the water. The waves look still really good measure. Look at that. Oh wow, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. But I go. Gotta go, it's on, it's on. And so, you see, we're riding waves down there, and those are the famous Hokipa rocks. That's the little beach where we start from. It's really little. And those are the rocks where you can end up if you do something wrong. This is the place, this is where we park, where we get ready for the action. So this is the view from the beach. where we start from those are the famous rocks they're not so friendly you can see that can you read what they say danger 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 those signals 
And yeah, we are basically out there doing our best to rip those waves. That's Takara, one of my friends. Conditions look pretty nice actually right now. It's way smaller than yesterday, but still, really fun measure. It's a nice beach, huh? All right, all ready? All set up? Gonna give it a go. I mean, the beginning of the session was amazing because the wind was lighter, side offshore wind, the waves were clean finally, and a really fun measure, as I told you. you know, until logo high, it's really fun here. Like it's, 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 it's a measure that I know pretty well. And so, first part really fun, and then the wind got stronger and stronger, more and more people in the water, and now it's just nuking again. I'm overpowered on 4-4. My arms are painful, whatever. So yeah, my bad, my fault that I didn't have the right tail. That can't happen anymore. But yeah, it's super windy and there are some really nice sets coming. The thing is that it's offshore, so it's even stronger in the wave and in light inside. You see, the guys are struggling inside and then outside is, is, is nuking. <laughs> All right, I just had 40 minutes of uh, break. I'm gonna go for a second session. Wind still looks like it's nuking out there, but the waves are really fun. There are some really nice ones. So, you know, we've got to take advantage of this well. Might be the last one, who knows? Just give it all. This is Hokipa's adrenaline. This is Hokipa on fire. Akipa adrenaline. It was so fun. It got offshore, a little lighter, cleaner waves. It was just insane. It was just insane. Oh my god, I'm full, full adrenaline right now. Full adrenaline. I could feel the rail so deep, so like, with so much grip in the, in the wave that then it would like. Oh shit, that was so fun. That was, that was insane. It almost felt like that uh, Tobokama session in Chile, you know, it was just so good. But Hokipa, it's Hokipa, you know, and to get away a session like this here, it's priceless. And, you know, after yesterday's session in Kanaha, my confidence went so much higher that today I was finally having the right timing, which at Hokipa it's fundamental. If you want to ride the wave at Hokipa, you need to attack, you need to go for it. Or at least maybe not attack, but go critical. You know, you need to know where the section is, you need to go for it and and just follow the sections. That's the only way, because only when, when there is a section, 
the wave gets cleaner and so you can make a more powerful bottom turn and top turn. I had my first aerial today since the injury and that felt good. It was a small one, but still it felt great. So besides that, not, not heavy attacks, no, but I feel like I had a way better timing and, and that means a lot already. And speed and connections. I, I feel like with this board I'm connecting so well, like from one turn to the other, from one movement to the other, which for me it's fundamental, you know, because speed, power, flow. That's how I want to ride. So really cool. End of the vlog, I need to change, go home. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it, another day at Okipa. As always, please like it if you enjoyed it, comment so I, I can understand, you know, I can have some feedback from you. And uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm getting into the rhythm and there are way more videos coming. Let's keep going. Thanks for the support. So stoked, so much adrenaline. Fuck, this is uh, what I live for, in part. But what I live for. You guys know what I feel. You know, you guys know what it means. So, Shaka, good win and good ways to everyone. Ciao from Ukipa.